find all solutions to the second order linear ODE, y double prime minus 6y prime plus 9y equals 0. I begin with our usual procedure. We assume we have solutions of the form y equal to e to the rx. I put that into our ODE. I see what comes out. That'll narrow down possibilities for r. So we do that. Of y equal to e to the rx, we'll need the first and second derivatives. So the derivative of e to the rx, I take the derivative of e to a function, I just return e to that function, and then take the derivative of the function by the chain rule. So for the derivative, we just bring down an r. Second derivative, we bring down another r, giving me an r squared. We put these into our ODE, and I get e to the rx times our characteristic polynomial. So that's just peeling off the coefficients. E to the rx can never be equal to zero, so we throw it away, and then I just solve r squared minus 6r plus 9 equals zero. r minus 3 squared equals zero, so our root is going to be 3. So we get a solution of the form y1 equal to e to the 3x. Since I have a second order linear ODE, constant coefficients, I'm expecting another solution. So what do we do? Well, we'll assume that we're going to have a function u times the solution that we already have. So we'll want to put u times y1, or u times e to the 3x, into our ODE, see what comes out. Hopefully, that'll indicate properties of u. We do this. So first derivative, second derivative, so it's a lot of product rule and chain rule. We do our bookkeeping. So here's our ODE. Write everything out. And we note we're going to have what comes out of this. is going to be u double prime e to the 3x. And we want that equal to 0. e to the 3x is never equal to 0. So we're going to have u double prime equal to 0. So if I take two any derivatives, first one is going to give me the constant a. Second one, okay, well, the a is going to pick up an x, and then we throw in another constant b. So u is equal to ax plus b. Let's check what we have. We're going to multiply this by e to the 3x. Well, constant b times e to the 3x, we've already accounted for that with y1. So we're really interested in the solution x e to the 3x. So I'll call that y2. Now, if you note, we should check this in our ODE. So you should stick that in here, make sure that zero comes out. This is gonna mean all of our solutions are gonna be linear combinations of e to the 3x and x e to the 3x.